I'm Rachel Garsett and I'm a final year PhD student. Liquid crystals are commonly used in screens such as those found on computers and mobile phones or in projectors. I'm researching a different method of projection using liquid crystals, which not only makes it possible to project images that are always in focus, but that also allows 3D images to be produced without the need for those silly little glasses. To make this a reality, it's important to find a liquid crystal material with exactly the right properties. So this image shows what happens when a material is pushed beyond its limits. The strong electric field used to control the material has destroyed the liquid crystal, creating this spectacular pattern. I'm Andrew Payne, studying for my engineering PhD. This image comes from a project where I was trying to join sapphire to steel to increase the wear resistance. We used a laser as the energy source and a layer of titanium between the two materials to aid the bonding. What you see here is the edge of the irradiation zone, with flecks of titanium exploding off the edge of the steel. My name is Andrea De Luca. And my name is Lekas Gitt. This is a scanning electron microscope image of a forest of vertically aligned multiwall carbon nanotubes grown on a standard silicon platform, exclusively on a predefined area by using a particular technique developed within our group. In this specific case, carbon nanotubes were grown on top of electrodes enabling monitoring of the electrical properties of the forest. When exposed to different gases, such properties change, thus making our structure suitable for gas sensing applications. My name is Kenichi, and I am a PhD student in the Department of Engineering. Graphene consists of a 2D sheet of carbon and forms the basis for both 3D graphite and 1D carbon nanotubes. The intrinsic strength of a single tiny graphene flake exceeds that of any other material, but the major challenge is realizing this potential into an ultra-strong, lightweight, macroscopic structure. This image is a composite of four separate false-color electron micrographs of a three-dimensional shell of ceramic encapsulating layers of graphene, which were revealed underneath a crack in the coating. My name's Alex Kendall, and I'm in the Computer Vision and Robotics Lab at Cambridge University. I've developed a system which can take a single color image, for example from a smartphone, and localize its position in 3D space. What you're seeing here is a 3D reconstruction of central Cambridge, taken from video shot by a pedestrian with a smartphone. We use this 3D reconstruction to train an artificial intelligence system to learn to localize using deep learning. <laughs> 